Right, Boris, everybody here wants to know about the Boris Becker role. What, what inspired you to do it? Because it was something that was so rare, no one had ever seen that out on Centre Court. Well, the real reason was that sometimes I was just a bit slow. <laughs> and I couldn't get to the ball, and I, I hated giving up ball. So what they do, I'm gonna, gonna put my body forward. Uh, there, for example, I was on my way out, <laughs> but I didn't want to have the ball pass me, so I just jumped for the next one. And, and that's, that's the honest reason. But also, obviously, it shows your opponent that you're willing to put everything on the line, even your body, to get any ball back. And it's, it's, a, it's a quite a powerful, powerful message if, if somebody does that. And clearly not afraid to do it on any surface. Uh, that is true. I mean, I ideally did it on, on grass because the, the surface was soft, but indoors was all right too. The least, um, the least one was clay, not so much because it hurt, but I was so dirty after. I always had to change my shorts and everything, and, and that, that something I did. On the grass was always the easiest because it's something you do very naturally. There. Well, it seems to be something that was unique to you because we've never really seen it since, have we? Well, there are, there are players now and then that they, they go for a dive and then they immediately call that that was the Becker dive, which, which is a compliment, you know, thank you very much. But um, it, it's still a shot that, you know, sends a strong message to your opponent. Yeah, so it's uh, actually more of a mental thing. It's more of a mental thing than, than, you know, because honestly speaking, how often do you actually win the ball when you dive for one out of five or one out of ten? But it, it sends a strong message. And did you practice it? Oh no, I mean this is the instinct, this is uh, the spur of the moment when you, f you feel like you really want to win that point but the ball is, pass the ball is passing you so you want to do the extra, extra five yards. No, okay. I couldn't practice it. <laughs> Not going to do it for us today. No, it's kind of hard here <laughs> and I, I'm past 17 so <laughs> once I okay. do fall down it takes me a while to get up. Now. Okay, right, we've got some more questions here. Question from Suraj in uh, Dubai. I still remember your famous dive when serving for the 86 Wimbledon title against Lendl. How did you manage such an amazing shot in such a tense situation? Do you it's, remember it? Yeah, well, I remember. It was instinct. I remember that uh, it was pretty much at the end of the game and I was two sets to love up in a break and it was just a couple of points to go for me. And obviously, you're going to do everything possible to win the next couple of points. I remember I had him on the forehand run, he was going to pass me down the line, and then luckily it hit the net court, but I was already flying like a goalkeeper to that side, but then the net court slowed the ball down, I was able to recuperate and hit that ball over quietly to the other side, and obviously that's something Lendl didn't like so much. Perfect. It got under his skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, M from Almaty in Kazakhstan says, how did you feel when you had to dive and were able to make that shot? That was genius. Yes, what did it give you sort of in terms it of... Gives, it, gives you, it gives you a great inspiration. You know, it gives you goosebumps. It, it doesn't only give you one point, but it really gives you two, three, four points down the line because the other guy knows auto automatically you're willing to do whatever it takes to win any point. Okay, one last question here from Adam in New York. Did you learn to dive after balls or was it pure instinct? And again, I think you answered that. Yeah, one, yeah you said it was pure instinct because ideally you want to be fast enough on your footwork. You want to have your, your, your legs ready, not, not that you have to dive, but uh, things like that happen in a match. Sometimes you're too late or the opponent is too strong, so you have to work by instinct.